This is June of 2020, and uh, the prior tenant moved out in April. So he was probably the first person I saw after that I started advertising. That was a very difficult time for landlords, it wasn't was. it, in June? Because this what, what was happening then? That was after George Floyd. Uh, there was. Uh, uh, there was writing and stuff like that. Do you have a written lease I with did. the defendant? Standard written lease. I uh, have uh, clauses in there that says that any alterations are supposed to be okayed by me by written declaration and also if there's any damages, altering the premises and not restoring it when I get it back is not permitted. When for the first time did you discover the condition of the premises? Right around October, beginning of October. How long after he left? Uh, the next day. You've submitted to us certain uh, photographs and you've done something that is always very helpful to us in that you have before pictures. Yes. And you have after pictures. Yes, sir. Is this a before picture? Yes, it is. That's the front. It's set up like a dentist office. They have an inner, outer office, which you're looking it's at. It's a ground floor office? Yes, it is. And there's an inner office, which you're seeing there with the little glass, like a reception would be there. And down that hall, there's a bathroom in the back. Is this part of the bathroom? That's the bathroom in the back. Is yes, this is yes. this the bathroom after he left? Yes. So he, he put, painted the interior of the bathroom? He did. I mean, we're talking this high-gloss paint. Black, it was it purple? purple? Deep purple. Deep, deep purple. It was very artistic. <laughs> Imagine the surprise. I was with my contractor, and we saw all of it, and we just couldn't believe it. And what is this? That's some helter-skelter stuff. That's Where was door. that painted? That's the door, actually. And then the wall is completely black, and the ceiling also. Is this a photograph of a door that seems to be damaged? Yes, I had to replace the door. That's going into the inner office. In the inner office, there was more debris and damage. What is this a photograph of? That's from the inner office. That's uh, the shop that I guess he made. There's a wooden table. And this? So that's the wall in the outer office that he used for a mural. Yeah, that had to be redone. Did you paint this on the wall? That was a commissioned art that was done by a friend of mine, an LA artist. But it was on the wall? On the wall inside the shop, yeah. I also note some additional photographs outside the premises. Yeah, that's What does it show us? That's the debris that was left from the inside, that was left outside. It was all in front of the city street on the breezeway. And also, there was junk inside. I didn't... Did you have to pay to have this removed? I did have to pay to have that removed, as well as other stuff. And what does this photograph depict? Okay, that's a black curtain in front. Nobody could see inside. I couldn't see inside for the two years that he was there. I guess for security reasons, he told me that that's why he did that. When did you leave the premises? I was in the middle of moving out. I think it was October of 2021. I actually stopped inhabiting the space. And my friend, who was dying from brain cancer, he came by with his truck. He was talking about how he was like went, uh, spending a lot of money on hotels. He didn't ask to stay there, but I was just like, you know, my buddy's helping me out right now. It seems like he might need some help. He's not asking for anything. Super sick, helping me. And I was like, you know, you can, you can crash here if you need to. Just cover the rent. Because he was pretty much saying he was spending a couple thousand dollars a month on hotel fees. Well, I think it was a compassionate thing for you to do, but yeah. did you tell the plaintiff that you were going to do I that? I did not, sir. And from the papers, I see that, right. unfortunately, he passed away. Yeah. So do you admit that you owe the rent? When my buddy had, you know, started crashing there, in between being in and out of the hospital, he had a caretaker that was also staying there with him. And once my buddy passed away, his caretaker continued to stay there. You let the caretaker stay there. Well, I was pretty much like, I don't need this anymore. Here's Mr. Pete's number. If you want to continue to pay rent here to do your own thing, whatever. You didn't create another lease? No. Or no, no, create another only lease is with Zachary. That's, that's it. Okay. He actually sent um, an application over to fill out. And he actually sent me receipts from when the caretaker paid okay. him directly. Did you get an application from, from him? I thought they were partners. If I had to do an eviction, I wanted to get him on paper, but... That never came to pass because he never filled out an application. Okay. And this is all news to me about a caretaker and all that. I think they were making 3D printing. I didn't know anything about anything else. When did you leave, actually physically leave? I, I stopped using the space October of 2021, and that's when the caretaker took over. And I, ne I actually don't know exactly how that went, but I know I never said we were partners. Were you operating under the belief that you can, I was trying you to make can, it you easier can invite on him somebody so else. that he could just be added to the lease and then take my name off. But you never... Also, so there would be no lack in him getting paid right. every single but that, That's what you wanted to do, but the best way to do that was how? I mean, I, I could have just... Communicating been... with the plaintiff. Sure. So...